Pisces. Welcome to your love reading July 24th to the 31st for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, so for any of my newbies, I always go over my meditative session and the pre-shuffle, which the cards are laid out here. Then I always get into the tarot reading. Keep in mind, guys, this is a tarot reading for entertainment and spiritual guidance. At the end of the day, it's just, I'm just the messenger. I just give you what I get, the messages I receive, and these are always about opportunities coming your way. It's up to you to decide what you want to do with that. You are the master's of your own life okay all right Pisces so getting into the meditative session was really interesting I actually didn't get a whole lot uh for you Pisces I heard winning so I was like okay <laughs> winning I saw a cheeseburger specifically in and out cheeseburger which I thought was really funny and I think that's just a little food message for some of you but I'll get into that in a minute and then I heard striking gold striking gold so first and foremost pisces you're in a really great vibration i feel like you're really loving on yourself i feel like you're really enjoying your yourself your own life your own energy it's almost like you're dating yourself <laughs> it's kind of how it feels like you might even be taking yourself out on little mini dates like like i'm gonna go to the movies by myself or i'm gonna go treat myself to a nice dinner or i'm just gonna go treat myself to a day out you know it's that kind of energy and it feels really good all right you're also full of a lot of compassion right now, Pisces, and I feel like a lot of you have been really focused on work, like that gold, right? It's like focused on your pentacles, focused on your abundance, right? Your security, your confidence, and financial security. So for that, it's a lot of self-growth that you've done for yourself. You've, you've been doing this for quite a while. You're just really basking in your own glory about it. Others of you have had a lot of success in your career recently or had a lot of... Um, Really promising things come up regarding your money situation, uh, your financial situation, and you're just really enjoying it. Like, Pisces, I don't even think you're working yourself that hard. It's like you're very balanced right now. You're living a very balanced life. You wake up, you do what you got to do for your self-care, and then you're like, what's going to make me happy today? This will make me happy today. That's what I'm going to do. You know, it just feels really, really good. And Pisces, for that... um, <laughs> that hamburger mess oh wait sorry they're bringing me back to the striking gold um you're realizing how much joy you get from just living in the moment like that is you striking gold for yourself right now again you're having some success success in your career for some of you but the striking gold is more for you it's like i get a lot of joy from just living in the now and really appreciating what i have and what the possibilities of the day are. It's really beautiful energy, Pisces. I really like it. Now going back to this cheeseburger. <laughs> I think some of you might be um, trying to work on just eating healthier, maybe not eating as much fast food. Um, others of you, I think, might actually have, be experiencing a little bit, bit of a protein or iron deficiency specifically. Um, so just be mindful of that. Just be mindful of that, like if you're craving meat, if you're craving meat or beets, especially if you're craving like beets, it's definitely an iron deficiency, okay? So just keep that in mind. Just keep, just watch yourself. If you feel like a little fatigued day to day, uh, you might want to go to the doctor, maybe get your blood levels checked, okay? Just saying. All right, so let's get into this pre-shuffle. We have two of cups, Cancerian energy, which is soulmate energy. Then we have a queen of pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water with the nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. And then we have that nine of cups, Piscean energy could also be um, water or fire. Then we have the fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card with the nine of cups, Piscean energy. Then we end with a knight of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, also earth and fire, almost said air. I know it wasn't, but I wanted to say air. Could be dealing with an air sign or you could have that in your chart. But Pisces, there's a lot of love going on here. And, you know, in the energy you're in, even though you're focused on you, I do think some of you, this is going to be a little different for all of you. Some of you do have someone you're in a relationship with. Others of you, you're pining after someone a little bit or you're just missing someone, someone that is very, very near and dear to your heart. And others, it's like, you're, it's almost like you're you're really wishing well on others in the love department. Again, your energy is really beautiful right now. I really like it. With that two of cups soulmate energy, that applies to those who are having, you know, who are in a relationship or those who are pining after someone. This energy of the queen of pentacles, the knight of pentacles and the knight of cups. Uh, gosh, Pisces, again, whether you're committed or not doesn't really matter. That Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. Queen of Pentacles can be single, but can also be committed. So like I said, it's different for all of you as far as your actual status 
is concerned being referenced here in the pre-shuffle but with that knight of cups it's just like you're giving love to everybody because you're so full of it for yourself and that's the epitome of self-love when you have self-love it's bottomless it's bottomless and you're just radiating love and compassion to other people and you're also radiating confidence and stability okay i am getting though pisces that for some of you there is someone longing after you i don't know if you see that face in the nine of pentacles oh focus please focus hold on that oh my god i just realized we have the same hair color <laughs> anyway that face right there i feel like someone Ooh, especially with the squirrel. Oh, I just noticed that squirrel's got a hood over the, the head. Squirrels are about confidence. Squirrels are about self-reassurance and having, you know, having balls, essentially, to go after and doing whatever you want to do. And you see her disappointment on her face, like, looking at the squirrel, like, hoping for more confidence, trying to get confidence. Pisces, I feel like someone is trying to muster up the confidence and courage to approach you. To approach you with love because they see you as being so stable and nurturing. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, throat chakra. Pisces, you see this queen, how they have, they have a squirrel and it's not blind. It's like, oh gosh, there we go. The squirrel's hanging out like right on her throne because it's like that quiet confidence. And then there's this person over here trying to get it, like looking at it. Like, how do I actually get true confidence here? Someone's really amazed by you and just like oh my god how does pisces do oh there we, there we go like oh my god how does pisces do that i need that i want that i want to give more to pisces i want to give more to pisces because pisces they see you as someone who gives so much to other people because you are so balanced when pisces are full of that self-love and in a really good vibration they can give a hell of a lot of healing and love to other people and someone's watching that energy coming off of you and they want to be capable of that and not just in general, but also to give it back to you, okay? Someone's definitely wanting to approach you, Pisces. Others of you, it could be vice versa, where you're wanting to approach someone. A lot of you are trying to hold on to hope, though, for people. Like, a lot of you are, like, going about your day-to-day, -day, and it's like you're wishing well on others. Like, oh, I really hope that person finds their confidence. Oh, I really hope that person finds their grounding. Oh, I wish that person all the love in the world. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Then we have this fool with the Nine of Cups. Like I said, Pisces, you've been working on you, um, this is a Piscean energy with that Nine of Cups. This is about fulfilling up, fulfilling, filling your own cup of love to get to a place of just contentment and joy and just feeling like you really don't need much else. Like I said, Pisces, it's like you're going through your day to day, living in the moment and really appreciating what you have and not really and not really trying to constantly grasp for more. You've mastered the, the lesson of the scarcity mindset. You've mastered that and it's bringing you all the joy in the world. Um, I'm also getting that there is someone trying to take a risk, a leap, of, a leap of faith to head towards you to get to their own wish fulfillment. But then we got this Knight of Pentacles in a verse, the Virgo energy, which is your natural seventh, your natural counterpart. When I say that, because some people have asked me why I say that, it's basically if you look at a Piscean uh, rising, if you look at where the houses fall, typically Virgo falls in the seventh house, okay? That just goes straight for the sign just naturally. Your rising sign will dictate that otherwise, but just from an astrological standpoint, it's indicating that this is basically a natural counterpart for you, but they're not making any movement. They're staying perfectly still, actually. They're kind of frozen is also what I'm getting. They're frozen. They don't know what to do because they're trying to attain the confidence that they don't have right now, okay? The confidence that you have is trying to is inspiring them to do that. They also see as being very loyal with that dog right there. Um, but they're not budging, Pisces. They are not budging, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. For anybody curious about the de deck that I'm using, I almost said desk. <laughs> the deck, I mean, I keep wanting to say desk. That is so weird. Maybe some of you guys need a desk or are shopping for a desk. I keep wanting to say desk as opposed to deck. The deck I'm using is the Spellcaster's deck. Link is below for anybody who is curious about purchasing it. I got all my decks from Amazon. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Oh, I feel like I just heard this person's inner dialogue, Pisces. Um, I don't know how to be you. Oh my God. Well, and that's like, that's really sad. And I think they just have the wrong idea. It's not about being you. It's just about loving themselves 
and then they'll have all that yummy energy themselves, right? Pisces, I feel like for some of you, if this is someone you're in a relationship with, and again, this could be vice versa, but I feel like if this is someone you're in a relationship with, it's like you constantly have to build them up. And I think you get a little tired of that. It almost feels like you're wondering if they're really codependent on you or really codependent on your energy. Any messages for Pisces regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Oh, we got Page of Wands. Page of Wands, fire energy here. I love this Page of Wands, by the way. Doesn't it just look so... It just makes me smile for some reason. It just makes me smile. Um, this is getting news, okay, Pisces? I do think you're receiving the news as opposed to sending it out. I do believe you're receiving news here. It is also indicative of your guides giving you inspiration, uh, like I said, you're inspiring people, but you're receiving news, but it does feel inspired. Someone's feeling inspired to reach out to you, to talk to you, to tell you something. Hmm. Any other messages for Pisces? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. <laughs> the full universe. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Oh man. And Five of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. <sighs> Pisces. Sorry about that long sigh. Just, <laughs> their energy is really heavy. They actually feel like a big weight, Pisces. Ay. Ay. Yeah. This person's energy is so heavy and it weighs on you when you're around them. And when you talk to them, you just feel like, oh, I was feeling so good. What happened? Um, this person is trying to talk to you. They, you're getting news about this person either directly from them or about them. They're holding on to something. They're holding on to um, what looks like a falling apart of a foundation. It could be a breakup or it could be like loss of a job. Foundation is something you build up for yourself, right? This is something that was lost. Something that was definitely lost. They can't let go of it. They can't let go of what was lost, all right? They can't. They just can't get over it. Um, and you're getting word of this. You're getting word of this. They're kind of acting impulsively too. I feel like they're not grounded and they're not thinking straight. And by the way, Pisces, we had that Queen of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle and now we have the King. True pair situation for some of you. You've known them for quite a while. You've known them for quite a while. They are not a stranger. Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces? This could even be in the form of a download, this news that you're getting. Uh, and as I'm saying that, my eyes are freaking out. Um, you're, by the way, Pisces, yeah, okay. Your intuition, your sight, your sight, your foresight might be changing around this time for some reason. Um, either You're either having blocks or issues with it or they're expanding. Any messages for Pisces? Whoa, okay, so we got three other cards out here. Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Oh, Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra energy could also, excuse me, be air or water with the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Someone's got a lot of options here. Pisces, I feel like it's you. I feel like it's you. You have a lot of options here and you know that you have an opportunity, a big fat opportunity and you're kind of in silent mode about it. I don't think you're talking about it. I don't think you're sharing it with a lot of people. And I don't think you should either. At least it's the sense I'm getting. So stick with that. Stick with that. You're not talking about it, but it's like you're, you're trying to siphon through on what you should do about it. Overall energy, we have 10 of Pentacles in reverse Piscean energy. This is a lot of unhappiness, specifically in the home environment and family environment. Doesn't mean that that's the root of the problem. It just means that when this person's around their family or home environment, they're very unhappy. They're very unhappy. Whether it's you or this person, I feel like it's about the... Ugh, damn it. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, Pisces, to you, they're unhappy. They're really unhappy. And I feel like when they're coming into your environment, it just brings more unhappiness. It's like a little dark Eeyore cloud. Think Eeyore, okay? <laughs> That's kind of how it feels. I love Eeyore. He's a cute character, but... You know, he's got that toxic cloud around him all the time. It's kind of like that. Wherever they go, a little dark cloud follows. And it really weighs your energy down. And you're feeling so damn good that you're just like, oh, 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 why? 
Yeah, underneath that, look at that. Wow, Devil, Capricorn energy underneath that, Two of Cups in reverse, Cancer energy. Yeah, this is the dark cloud. Whatever this dark cloud is attached to this King of Pentacles, it just brings dark little gloomy energy everywhere it goes, everywhere they touch. That's really sad. It's definitely something within them that they have to deal with, okay? It's not... Pisces, it's not your responsibility to fix this person, okay? Sorry, they're telling me to tell you that. It's not your responsibility to fix this person and their little toxic cloud, okay? It's up to them. All right, so let's get into this reading a little bit more. Let's unpack this page of wands. There's a lot going on in that page of wands, okay? I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. <clears throat> tell me about page of wands. For Pisces, regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, that's freaking me out. Um, okay, so this is something personal. Um, sorry. <laughs> it's going to sound really strange. Um, so I have very strong nasal muscles. And when I'm when I get triggered by someone... When I get triggered by someone, um, it's going to sound so weird, guys. When I get triggered by someone or someone's lying to me, um, my nose starts to flare like that. And I just felt it like almost uncontrollable. And it, it was just a little psychic thing that came through. I just, it was really bothering me. <laughs> I just want to do this. Pisces, whatever this news is, I feel like it's triggering for you. It's triggering for you. Someone might even be lying to you. You might even get wind of a lot of lies that have taken place. Oh. <laughs> sorry it's really bothering me and it's funny because most people don't notice it but it just I can really feel it right now and I actually had a boss one time I had a boss one time we worked really closely together like we were always in each other's like faces not like aggressively just working that closely and I remember the t like when she finally recognized it like she was she goes you know I can tell when you're upset and I was like what do you mean she's like your nose does that thing <laughs> It's actually a very animalistic primal response that not a lot of humans still have, but I definitely have it very strong. Anyway, tell me about this page of wands mm, for Pisces regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Oh, that made my nose hurt, actually. Ow. Tell me about page of wands. Ooh. What did I say, Pisces? Queen of wands in reverse. This person's giving me the chills. Aries energy could also be fire or water. I do not like this person, Pisces. I don't know who this person is to you. They are a hater. Hater with a capital hate. <laughs> okay, is, oh God, is what I'm getting. Oh, Jesus. This person's really gonna trigger you. Some of you, this person's really gonna trigger you. Others, you're just gonna find out that this person was wreaking havoc um, in this situation. They're attached to this King of Pentacles. Interesting. For some of you, it's the same person. Okay. Pisces, I know I'm getting all kinds of different messages. Pisces, for some of you, this is just a hater <clears throat> who's wreaking havoc in this situation because they're attached to this King of Pentacles. Others of you, they are actually the King of Pentacles. So just keep that in mind that for some of you, these are the same person. Others of you, it's someone attached to this King of Pentacles who's wreaking, who's been wreaking havoc. Okay. They are a hater. Hater. Hater, hater, hater. Okay. Oh boy, Let's see what else we got. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. What did I just say? Meddling, fucking with things. Three of Pentacles in reverse. This person is causing lack of cooperation, lack of cohesiveness. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Pisces. King of Pentacles. Taurus energy could also be earth or air. I feel like they're messing with the king. I feel like for most of you, this is someone attached to this King of Pentacles, trying to wreak havoc in this King of Pentacles life, which is why this King of Pentacles hasn't been able to hold, hasn't been able to let go of what's been lost. Because I think whatever this foundation was, it's been messed with. And I think you're getting wind of it. Tell me about Page of Wands. Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Ooh, they're mad. Ooh, Pisces, they're mad. You know, this person might even be so ballsy it's to actually approach you with a smile on their face. <laughs> with a smile on their face, trying to act like, you know, they're not up to no good. 
but they're mad Pisces. So I know this page of wands. All right, so I got two other cards out here. Wow. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person's been fucking with shit. Definitely been fucking with shit. Um, they've tried to cause this Five of Pentacles energy in this King of Pentacles life. For some of you, you were in a relationship with this King of Pentacles. Some of you were actively in a relationship with this King of Pentacles. And it's like, yeah, it's like this Queen of Wands has been wanting to, to force this Five of Pentacles energy onto this King of Pentacles because this Queen of Pentacles has a lot, I mean, Queen of Wands, sorry. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm, a confu I'm confusing you guys. Hold on, let me pull all these cards up here. So this Queen of Wands has been literally causing disruption in this King of Pentacles life, okay? I don't think this Queen of Wands is the King of Pentacles for most of you. I think that's going to be very, very few of you. And if that's the case, it's just their shadow side. It's their shadow side. So let me say that again. Focus. Focus. Hang in there with me, Pisces. Pisces, some of you, this sh the, sa the shadow side of this King of Pentacles has been causing havoc between the two of you, causing discord, causing chaos, because their shadow side is very dark and they haven't worked on it very well. Most of you, this is someone attached to the King of Pentacles, could even been a third party situation that the King of Pentacles is now trying to get away from because this Queen of Wands is such a hater and really likes chaos and havoc and drama. And they really love to hate on you, Pisces. They really love to hate on you. Either way, this Queen of Wands has been successful in the past, causing disruptions in this King of Pentacles life. This energy of the Three of Wands in reverse. Whoa. Whoa. That was crazy. Guys, I, you saw my hands. I wasn't touching anything. Clyde is not around. I don't even have the phone plugged in. It just, it, it just fell. It just fell. <laughs> that was eerie. I didn't like that. I really didn't like that. Oh my God. I did not like that. Nothing touched the table. It literally just went. Pfft. Yeah, this person's a serious hater. Okay, Pisces. Anyway, three of wands in reverse, the five of pentacles, Taurian energy, and the ace of cups. This energy, it's like they see how loving you are, Pisces. They see your love. They see your compassion and what you're capable of. And they know how it affects this king. They know how it affects this king. Okay. And they hate it. They hate it, which is why they try to enforce this Five of Pentacles energy onto the king to push this love out, to push this love out, to keep you guys at bay from each other, to keep you guys away from each other. It feels very similar to the Cancerian read. Um, yeah, it feels very similar to the Cancer read. So make sure you guys watch that if that um, if you guys have any cancer going on in your chart here. Overall energy. Look at that. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. It's also my divine soul connection card. Soulmates, twin flames, divine counterparts, whatever resonates right. Pisces, I really feel strongly that you and this king have, have a serious connection and you've had a serious relationship that's basically been severed by this queen of wands. Underneath that, look, drama. Look at that. Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy, more Gemini energy. This can also be um, air or fire. Drama, drama, drama. This queen of wands has really messed with this king's life is what I'm getting really mess with this king's life this reading is not going to be for all of you okay for sure and pisces i think you've just done a lot of work to just remove yourself from this energy this queen of wands energy is very far reaching you saw how my phone like fell i like i still can't believe that i just like there was no reason that should have happened i wasn't even touching the table nothing was touching the table nothing it's like anyway i'm over it um You've really tried hard to remove yourself from this situation because it, it did nothing for you. And it's almost like you knew that this had to play out. It's like you knew that this had to play out this way. You know something else that's really interesting, Pisces, especially with this Ten of Cups in reverse energy? Pisces, for some of you, this King of Pentacles is representing a family like or a group, like not just one person. And this Queen of Wands, Jealous Hater, has caused a lot of disappointment. A lot of disappointment and a lot of um, dark, toxic energy in this family or group. Okay, King of Pentacles is very much a family kind of energy. It's really sad. And in that way, they've pushed you out. Like if this is family shit and you've been forced out of your family, this Queen of Wands knew what they were doing. 
they did whatever they could to force you out of the situation because you brought too much light and too much love to the situation to the family to the group and like i said most of you this is just a lover or a past lover of yours wow all right so let's get further into this this is intense full in reverse king of pentacles in reverse four of pentacles four of wands in reverse and the five of swords in reverse five of swords in reverse i'm getting forgiveness this king, like I said, for some of you, lover, past lover, family group, wants your forgiveness, Pisces, for what's happened. If this is a third party situation, I feel like this king has gotten rid of the queen. I feel like they've kicked this queen out of the picture. Yeah, yeah, but they want forgiveness. So let's look at this five of swords in reverse and see what else we can get with this forgiveness energy, okay? Um, I'm gonna use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Oh, there go my eyes again. <laughs> I, Pisces, you're going to have to really use your intuition here. So I got five of swords in reverse for Pisces. Some of you have been in, some of you, this, this drama, this, this soap opera has been playing out, honestly, for such a long time. Honestly, for some of you, I'm getting years years for some of you Coming out five of swords in reverse oh my god i just heard day of reckoning oh my god oh god that's getting intense so i have five of swords in reverse for pisces regarding love july 24th to the 31st so i have five of swords in reverse for pisces I have five of swords in reverse for Pisces. Pisces, if this is a family or a group situation here where you were basically ostracized or pushed out, um, there's this, this sense that, you know, Pisces, maybe you've been always a little bit more in tune with yourself than the rest of this group. Because I'm I am getting that, I'm being drawn back to that pre-shuffle energy of like, you know, someone's getting confidence because you have so much confidence. Whatever this queen did to this group or family, again, for those in that situation, I think they really tore a lot of people down within this situation, within that group, within that family, kind of causing them to have to rise, like to have to heal. You know, and I was just talking about this recently where, you know, sometimes people really hurt us badly. People try to control us, oppress us, and that puts us in a state of like getting lower and lower in our vibration till we hit a bottom of sorts. And then it forces us to have to rise and raise our vibration. Feels a little bit like that. All right. Two of Cups in a verse, can't Syrian energy, also soulmate energy. Again, forgiveness for what's happened here, forgiveness of the severance of this connection with your King of Pentacles. Again, lover, past lover, family or group that you've been pushed away from, from this Queen of Wands. Oh my God, the hate from this person is overwhelming, overwhelming. Time about the Five of Swords in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Lovers in reverse, again, double confirmation, Gemini energy, also my divine soul connection card, soulmates, twin flames, divine counterparts, also just um, really emphasizing soul here, especially in regards to that family dynamic and the group situation for those of you who are in that boat. I'm shaking my head at this Queen of Wands, don't mind me emphasizing soul tribe here so even if this is just a group or family it's not everybody it's like it's the people who really call to your soul who you have soul contracts with justice in reverse libra energy yeah go figure jesus i just it really it really gets me upset when like people like this go to such lengths because they just have so much hate in their heart tell me about five of swords in reverse We now have King of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Could also be water or air. Ooh. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Jesus. Tell me about Five of Swords in reverse for Pisces regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Oh my God, guys. This is crazy. All right. Now we have three other cards. Page of Wands in reverse with Judgment in reverse, which is fire energy. Also Scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Oh God, the seven of swords, Aquarian energy. Overall, 
for the Five of Swords in reverse, we have Page of Pentacles in reverse. Every single clarifier attached to this card is, is in reverse. Every single one. And there's eight of them. There's eight of them. This King of Pentacles wants forgiveness. Again, whether it's the group or family or lover, ex-lover, they want forgiveness for everything that was lost between you, between you guys. For everything that's been lost, they know they could have prevented it. It's interesting. I Could they have prevented it? Yes, but I feel like this brought so many lessons learned to this person that it kind of had to happen. You know what I mean? And if this is a family dynamic or group dynamic, it's almost like it had to be blown up. It had to be, it had to get so bad so people could really do a lot of their own healing. If the, Yeah, if this is a family dynamic. It had to happen so the family could heal on an individual level, like intensely. It's almost like it really had to get blown to smithereens for everybody to build themselves back up and to realize, whoa, that was an awful mistake. Let's go find Pisces. Interesting. All right, now we have that lovers in a verse, justice in a verse, and the king of cups in a verse. I mean, I mean, you guys don't even really need me to go into detail here. This is just about the injustice that's taken place between all these soul connections, between you and your lover, your ex-lover, and how the love was really just sucked out of it. It was sucked out of it by this queen of wands. I don't even, okay, I'm not going to go that far. I'm just, I'm really upset by this person's energy. I was going to, I was about to say, I don't think this person's capable of love. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. It's just, I, I guess I'm personally triggered by this queen of wands. I have a lot of issues with people who are like this. And that's my own thing that I got to work on for me. But this person really did suck away a lot of the joy and happiness out of this king um, and this group and our family. And then we have the Page of Wands in reverse with Judgment in reverse and the Seven of Swords. I get a lot of gossip off of this. A lot of shit talking. A lot of shit talking. It was a major mistake and it was very deceptive and it caused a lot of rifts. I actually am getting voids. Voids. For some of you in this group or family dynamic, it took a while for it to get as bad as it did, is what I'm getting. It's like slowly over time, this person like talks so much shit, person to person to person to person to person, until finally it's like these little like voids were kind of voids of energy were created that forced everyone to hit their bottom for them to rise and get back up. That family group dynamic is only gonna be for a few of you. It's mostly about a lover, ex-lover. And if it's a lover, ex-lover, it's like, I almost feel like this Queen of Wands talked so much shit and put so many wrong ideas in the King of Pentacles head. And it was intentionally deceptive, intentionally, intentionally, and just kept filling this King's head up with bullshit to where they couldn't think straight. Overall energy for the Five of Swords in a verse, we do have that Page of Pentacles in a verse, a lot of envy. A lot of envy going on there. And that's definitely from the Queen of Wands. Woo, Pisces. Moving on to this. Seven of Cups, Queen of Swords in a verse, and the Ace of Pentacles in a verse. Like I said, Pisces, it's like you've got a lot going on right now as far as your own life, your own happiness. And you know that there's a big opportunity in all of this, but you're not really saying anything. You're, you're kind of keeping it, you're keeping your thoughts to yourself. Thank you. That's what it is. You're keeping your thoughts to yourself. Your thoughts are representative by that seven of cups. You're keeping it all to yourself while you figure out what to do. So let's look at this ace of pentacles and see what's going on with that. Mm, steampunk. Do steampunk with this one. Tell me about ace of pentacles. Tell me about ace of pentacles for Pisces. Regarding love, control, sorry, control just came in. This queen of wands knew that they couldn't control this king of pentacles or this group or family if you were around. Talking about ace of pentacles. For Pisces, regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Very threatened by you, Pisces. They're so threatened by you. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> For Pisces, regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Oh, it's a lot. Okay, I got to take them. It's a lot, though. Let's see what we have. We have Nine of Wands, Sag energy. The Sun, Leo energy. Five of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Six of Pentacles. I'm loving that. Taurian energy. Eight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. Page of Wands in reverse. Wow. And then the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth. Oh, yeah. This is all about illuminating it illuminating the bullshit this is an opportunity to lay out all the truth on the table with everyone in the situation and to forgive and to start making amends and to start balancing this shit out that nine of wands though is definitely your energy pisces you've had to be very strong in this you've had to be very strong in this and i feel like you've tried really hard to take the high road as much as possible but it has beaten you up a lot this situation has beaten you up a lot, but because you focus so much on you and you're in such a great place now, it's fi you finally have the strength to deal with it in a, in a better way, to finally bring some resolution to the situation if you want to. It's an opportunity, right? Like I, just said, like I said in the beginning, these are all just opportunities. If you want to, but if you want to, it looks very successful and very promising, okay? Then we have this energy of the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Ace of Swords. Bringing truth and clarity to all the bullshit that was said, all the bullshit, all the bullshit, all the deceptive gossip, rumors, actions, all the bullshit, right? That really caused a lot of miscommunication. And I'm honestly, it's not even like delayed progress in anything. It's just, it's, sorry, I'm so irritated with this person. All the bullshit they were up to, it's almost like it muddied up everyone's path who was involved. But because you removed yourself, your path didn't get muddied up. You focused on you. You did what you had to do. But this sort of truth, laying the truth out of everything that was said and all the miscommunication, all the bullshit, all the bullshit, you have the choice to do it, but you're really thinking hard if you should or not, which I think is very smart. <clears throat> Play more with the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces. Play more with the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love july 24th to the 31st oh we got one more <laughs> do you feel it pisces it's intense guys scorpionic energy could also be aries because this is mars influence you have the chance the opportunity to lay out all the truth to everyone in the situation whether it's just the three of you or if it's like a whole group or all family and you have the opportunity to really blow shit up in a good way, in a good way, to break, to really destroy all of the, the wrong information people are still carrying with them regarding this, whatever this Queen of Wands was doing and or saying, to bring so much clarity to the situation that people can't really hold on to the illusion anymore. You have the chance to do it. It's going to be hard. And you know that, which is why you're taking time to think about it. And it's going to be, um, destructive in a good way destructive in order to really make things right again blowing away anything that's really been fucking the situation up overall sorry i'm like oh, i'm so irritated with queen of wands overall energy for the ace of pentacles we have the magician mercurial energy virgo gemini could also be aquarius scorpio for me as a reader i feel like this king of pentacles is coming forward as the magician to, yeah, yeah. They, they're trying to get you to do this. They're trying to get you to bring in more clarity in the situation. They're trying to get you to, um, to really just talk it out. Really talk it out, really lay it out on the table. And the fact that they're coming forward as a magician tells me that between all of this energy of them holding on, feeling like they're trying to deal with this Queen of Wands, getting them away and kicked out of the situation, they grow into a magician energy. And for those where this is a family dynamic or a group dynamic, there's one person in particular coming forward to get you to do this. Someone who's, who's a little more evolved than the rest of them become more evolved thank you someone who's become more evolved than the rest of them they could be a mercurial sign which is virgo or gemini they don't have to be necessarily but someone who's very capable someone who's very capable i just heard i just heard smart smart someone who's a little on the intelligent side more so than the rest of the pack okay Woo, pisces this is tough this is tough let's get some advice let's get some advice for you guys using the spirit animal deck <clears throat> Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? 
Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice for Pisces? <clears throat> Whoa. Oh my God, so much truth needs to be spoken here, Pisces. Oh my God. Oh, any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Oh, what did I say? Intuition, dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. Oh my God, how does that not, like that applies to everything going on here. Truth, reality, what is, overcomes illusion, deceit sabotage lies bullshit right the energy of 22 is also a self-mastery number pisces you have grown a lot okay and you've mastered your emotions you you've you've mastered um the lessons that you've learned in this situation here the lessons you've had to learn in this situation and your intuition is a lot stronger because of that and also you um like i said there's something about your intuition that's changing right now it's either blocked or you're expanding it Use that. You're really going to have to use your intuition here to really um, understand how to approach a situation to the best of your ability. Okay, let's see what else we get. Any other advice for Pisces? Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Oh, nice. Crow spirit, co-create with spirit, 17, breaking down to an eight. This is leading to success. It's leading to success and stability here, but it is basically manifesting with spirit. Um, spirit's trying to help make this right. For some of you where this is a family or group dynamic, it's it's a lot of craziness, okay? It's a lot of craziness and spirit is not liking it either, all right? Spirit's with you. Spirit's working with you to get the situation right again, okay? Any other advice? Wow. Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any other advice for Pisces? Okay. We have Coyote Spirit. Ty um, ugh, trust in Divine Detour. 16 breaking down to a 7. Then we have, whoa, another bird. I like it. Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. 23 breaking, 23? No, 32. Sorry, it's backwards for me. 32, breaking down to a five, and Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. 31, breaking down to a four, and then we have Moth Spirit, surrender. 39, breaking down to a three. Pisces, this news, this news information you're getting is throwing you a curveball. You're kind of surprised by it, honestly. You're surprised by it, but it's, it's for the better. It's for the better. With all of these energies, Pisces, I know that some of you are not going to like this. Again, Hawk Spirit, more of that spirit energy, more of like guides, divine intervention with time to let go and surrender. This is basically the curveball that's coming into your life to say, hey, it might be time to practice some forgiveness with this person and to let some people go and to let some bullshit go. So again, those in that family dynamic, group dynamic, by the end of this, <clears throat> you'll probably have forgiven a lot of them, but there's still some that you might never forgive and just forever not be close to. Um, where this is just between you and your lover, it is about forgiving what's happened, letting go of the past, moving forward and surrendering to forgiveness. Pisces, I know for some of you that's going to be hard. I'm not saying that you have to be close to this person. This is just advice from spirit on what to do. Like I said, these are all opportunities. It's your life. You got to decide what you want to do with this. But the curveball is this information coming to light, information coming to you, whether it's directly from this king or it's through um, downloads because we do have uh, two divine intervention kind of guides here to guide cards with the crow and the hawk either way spirit is nudging you to kind of put the past in the past let go of the pain let go of the hurt and surrender to forgiveness accept accept what's happened overall oh i like this oh i like this sandpiper spirit be playful 51 breaking down to a six this is being joyful again living life again having fun again which you've been doing but when this curveball comes in it's going to kind of shake you a little bit because you were like in your groove right and it's like oh man really like <laughs> but you're about to have a lot of fun again with others i'm getting a lot of six of cups energy so whether it's this whether it's a love whether, whether this king of pentacles 
is a lover, ex-lover, family, or a group, a lot of old times are going to come back up again. A lot of that nostalgic energy, like you're going to have fun again with these people or a person, right? It's like the past has come back, but in a really good way, that playful way, that childlike way. Going back to the connection and what it's supposed to be without a meddling queen of wands messing things up. I'm getting a lot of laughing, actually. I'm getting a lot of laughing and a lot of laughter. It's really, really nice. Yeah, Pisces, if you can find it in your heart to surrender and forgive this person or some of these people, it's going to be like old times again, but in a healthier way. Because a lot of people have grown in the situation. If it's a group or family dynamic, this king has also learned a lot and grown a lot from this situation. So it's, it's going to be like old times, but better. It's going to be like old times, but better. Okay? Again, opportunity, you decide what you want to do with it. All right, Pisces, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great night, Pisces. Namaste.